The chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Justice, Honorable Lumide Oshoba, has recommended safety measures for the well-being of children on the internet. Honorable Oshoba said this while declaring open a public hearing on the Bill for an Act to provide for enactment of Child Online Access Protection Bill 2023 and other issues of online violence against the Nigerian child and other related matters at the National Assembly Complex on Tuesday. Recent efforts by the House of Representatives indicate a growing concern for protecting children from various online risks. Part of the measures is for parents and educators to do everything possible to protect the child from falling prey to internet pedophile. This legislative focus reflects a broader trend towards addressing the challenges posed by children's online interactions, emphasizing the need for proactive measures to ensure their safety in the digital realm. The bill will serve as a comprehensive framework to counter the many threats to our children. The bill includes measures to establish strict criteria for age verification on social media platforms, ensuring that children cannot access age inappropriate content. It also mandates schools and educational institutions to incorporate digital literacy and on online safety education into their curriculum, empowering our children with the knowledge and skills to navigate the internet world. Furthermore, the bill calls for stringent penalties for individuals found guilty of penetrating, perpetrating online violence against children. We must send a strong message to those who prey on our vulnerable children and their actions will not go unpunished. However, the enactment of this bill alone is not sufficient. It is imperative that we raise awareness amongst parents, guardians and educators about the potential dangers locking in the digital realm. Representative of the Speaker of the House, Honorable Usman Bellokumo, said, The bill being a straightforward bill is seeking legislation to ensure all hands are on deck to protect children from being harmed or exploited. The digitalization of the child online issue cannot be overemphasized because we are in a digital world. And Nigeria, as one member of the Committee of Nations, cannot live in isolation. And therefore, we must key in into the global best practice. And our children must not be exposed to an extent where some people take advantage of them in abusing their rights and their privileges. So the bill happens to be a collaborative bill and function between the children, parents, uh, service providers, and government to ensure that as a society, as a responsible and responsive society, we must do the right thing to ensure that children are protected and adults do not take advantage of the child's rights. Stakeholders like the FIRS, NCC, Human Rights Commission, the Federal Ministry of Women Affairs, Nigerian Data Protection, UNICEF, all noted that the safety and well-being of the Nigerian child in this digital age should be the nation's utmost priority. We must not lose sight of the fact that in most cases, it starts online but ends up physically. So we must have that at the back of our minds, otherwise we miss uh, the point. It doesn't start and end uh, uh, being online. Uh, now, we also need to ensure that service providers, especially the internet service providers, social, all that have been provided under the bill, have a responsibility and mandate, to, an obligation to take down. The area in the bill that talks about the need to raise a complaint report and all that, I think will delay even the process of engaging and taking, if necessary. But there has to be a mandatory requirement for providers to take down child sexual abuse materials that come onto their, uh, uh, their platforms. And that needs to, uh, to happen. The Commission quite applauds the bill, you know, because it's coming at a time where, you know, there are a lot of predators online who are really lurking and threatening and, you know, seeking to violate the rights of our children. 
and it is really a proactive step by this honorable house you know to try and ensure that the rights of our children are protected we are looking at the appointment that this person i mean the criteria for the appointment of the ec that person must be somebody who has who has background in child protection talking up because this is basically about child and child protection that the person must first before any other thing before having cyber security skill or any other skill, the person must be skilled in child protection and then the person must have no history, I mean no history or no record of child abuse so that whoever is um, championing this cause, leading this, uh, this um, commission, we are sure that at least the person will not, um, will not do, uh, do things uh, differently. Laws like the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, COPPA, are in place to safeguard kids under 13 online, emphasizing the importance of legal frameworks to protect children's privacy and security. Their call is for a national standard to ensuring comprehensive protection for all children, highlighting the importance of cohesive measures to safeguard children in the digital space. From the nation's capital, Mavis Ako, Captain TV News.